Happy New Year to you! Don't mind me, I'm so excited for this new year. I want to say welcome to this channel, everybody who has seen any of the videos I have uploaded all through 2019. I want to say thank you. So I welcome you to this new year and um, it's a new decade. A lot of things are set to happen this year and I am super excited. I am grateful that we are alive to see this new year and for people planning to immigrate to Canada, of course, you know, this channel is about Canada, life in Canada, immigrating and everything useful. And I know I've not responded to so many emails. Please forgive me. I need to rest now. I need to kind of relax and all that. Yeah, so the year has started and a lot of people are preparing, planning, strategizing, setting goals, making resolutions. I personally, I don't do resolutions. I just... Um, set targets and goals for myself that I know can be achievable. I set my goals the prior year and then start working towards achieving them in the following year. Some of them I can achieve, some I don't. And um, yeah, so that's me. I don't usually do resolutions. Resolutions are not good for me. But when it comes to goals and trying to achieve certain things, I am intentional. I am always intentional about my goals. I might take time in making a decision but once I start, I just move with it. So that's me. That's my kind of person. I like to be positive. I am a positive person and I'm also realistic. So I can be very positive and be very, very realistic. I'll tell you the truth. I am very honest. I will tell you how it is. I can't, I don't know how to sugarcoat things. I don't know how to tell you, oh, do this, do this, do that, that. No, I'm not that kind of person. So that's me. And I wish that you can also be intentional about your goals, intentional about your dreams, intentional about what you want to achieve for yourself and chase that thing and somehow the universe will align for you. Today's topic is concerning immigration consultants. In my last video, when I talked about plans for 2020, I mentioned that I can refer people to an immigration consultant and an immigration lawyer and I received a lot of emails and comments um, requesting for the contact and I want to be honest I am an honest person and I'm going to be honest about um, consulting with an immigration consultant or consulting with a lawyer so that you have a true picture of what you want to do immigration consultants they actually help people file their applications for permanent residency to Canada. Anybody that is a licensed immigration consultant must have gone through uh, the educational requirements and written the exam and license is and is a member of the ICCROC before they can practice as an immigration consultant. A lawyer in Canada who has gotten his law qualifications can also practice as an immigration consultant. A paralegal can also practice as an immigration consultant. Now, in wanting to deal with an immigration consultant to um, help with your application on immigrating to Canada, you should know certain things that are requirements. Number one, an immigration consultant will not write IELTS for you. So if you want an immigration consultant based on whatever, just know that the immigration consultant will not write an IELTS exam for you. You have to do it yourself. You need to get certain documents ready with which the immigration consultant can work with. Number two, the immigration consultant will not be the one that will evaluate your credentials for you. You have to get your documents ready. You have to write the IELTS. You have to evaluate your credentials. Once these two documents are ready, then you can consult with an immigration consultant to know your chances of immigrating to Canada. Now, immigration consultants cannot tell you that they can guarantee you a visa. No. No immigration consultant should tell you that I can guarantee that you will get a visa. And that this is where many people make the mistakes. And... Um, have this mindset that if you work with an immigration consultant you are likely to get a visa 
it is not true when it comes to writing the ielts you need to pass the exam very well if you don't pass the exam very well there is no magic that the immigration consultant can perform and so i just wanted to clear the air on that to let you know that an immigration consultant can help with your application and represent you and look at the chances that can help you immigrate to canada but they cannot guarantee that you will get a visa they do not have any form of connection whatsoever to the um, to IRCC. They do not have any connection. They will look at your application to make sure that your application is accurate and error-free. They do a lot of work in terms of searching for opportunities that will be suitable to you based on your profile, based on your um, education, based on your occupation based on your age they look at all these things and all these factors i'll advise you on the opportunity that will be suitable for your profile so that is what they do they don't like i mentioned again i keep repeating this thing they don't guarantee that you will get a visa so that is it and in line with the rcic code of professional ethics article 7.1 says a member must be honest and candid when advising a client so if you are going to consult with an immigration consultant, he should be honest with you and tell you your chances. If you don't have any chance on immigrating, the immigration consultant should let you know and tell you what you need to do to improve your chances of immigrating. So that is it. They are bound by the code of professional ethics and they cannot mislead you or tell you, oh, blah 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 don't worry you will get a visa no they cannot mislead you they should tell you what your chances are and they should tell you what you should do to improve your chances it is very expensive to get the consultancy licensing so and they do a lot of work when it comes to researching to make sure that your application is okay and meets the requirement the application is error free Look at your application to make sure that once it goes in or once you send in your application, it will come out successful. There will not be any refusal. That is the kind of work they do when it comes to consulting with an immigration consultant. And it is not easy because they have to research a lot of laws, a lot of policies concerning an application and concerning your peculiar situation. So that is why consulting with an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer um, can be very expensive. I am saying this so that people can be aware and not say, oh, it is Wolo that referred me. I am saying it out here now that because of the work involved in terms of researching rules, policies, regulations, laws concerning anybody's application, whether express entry, whether provincial nomination, whether study permit, whether work permit, uh, whether business investment, um, any type of um application that will require dealing with the ircc they do a lot of research on that and look at regulations and um, um make sure that your application is error free and accurate before they send in your application so that's what they do in terms of the consultation fee depends on the consultant you liaise with or you are working with now some consultants charge per hour and some consultants will just charge one time fee and after that consultation if you agree to work with them you can then pay a retainer fee now in terms of consultation some consultants can tell you you should pay 1000 canadian dollars just to talk with them for one hour yes there are some consultants that are like that especially if they have um gathered enough years of experience maybe 20 years 30 years I would say 20 years at the most if they've got that enough experience they can charge as much as one thousand dollars four thousand dollars just to have a one hour conversation with them so before you request for an immigration consultant you should be you should know all these things and know what they charge they charge very um high fees when it comes to consulting with them especially if your case is peculiar and unique and you need to talk with an immigration consultant some people charge as low as $200, $500, depending on the situation. So if you want to have a consultation for express entry, let's say express entry, and um, you just want to talk to a consultant, 
the consultant can charge as much as two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars for one hour or for thirty minutes. So that's why I am putting this out there. You should know these things before you request for an immigration consultant. Then after consulting with them and they see your case, you filled some forms. They see your case and see that oh, you will need this, you will need that, you will need this. They are bound by the code of professional ethics. To advise you if your chances is going to be successful or not if your chances will not be successful they will let you know and tell you what you need to do to improve your chances if you need refer referrals if you need them to refer you to somebody else that can help you they can refer you in terms of job search they don't help searching for jobs for potential immigrants they don't do that if you want them to refer you to Agencies that do sort job search, they can do that. In terms of looking at your resume, for those who want to apply for AIPP, RNIP, consultants do not really do that. But they have some consultants actually have um, a, a smaller segment in their consultation practice where a let's say a certified resume writer can actually review your resume and or tailor a resume to the Canadian standard and um refer you to organizations that are look, looking for people to employ from outside of canada they can refer you to that but in terms of helping you to search for a job or helping you they don't do that but of course you have to pay for their services and all these things requires money so you should be aware of all these things before you actually um request for an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer and i also want to mention that an immigration lawyer can actually represent you on a full spectrum that is after consultation and you have decided to retain their services so if you're going to be retaining an immigration lawyer services they can represent you from the beginning to the end so just in case you have an issue in the middle maybe there is a refusal or something they can appeal your case they can file an appeal for you they can you know go to the courts for you and whatever that's the advantage of working with an immigration lawyer but like I mentioned, they cannot guarantee that you get a visa. They cannot guarantee that. But they can apply on your behalf and they can represent you on a full scale and try to ensure that your application process and filing process is successful um, so that you can get a visa. So um, I think I talked about the consultation fees the next thing i'll be talking about is the retainership fees so after you must have consulted with them like i mentioned they have different amounts they charge for consultation if you want work permit consultation they have an amount if you want um study permit consultation they have an amount for study permit consultation they cannot help you look for a school you have to search for the school yourself you have to get the admission yourself they can refer you to where you can do those things or consult with people that can help you get admission but they cannot help you search for a school and then once you get your admission and you want them to file your application for you for study permits they can help you file your application and request for all the necessary documents to make your application a successful one after consulting with a consultant or a lawyer you can actually uh, retain their services so they've you've consulted with them they've told you oh okay um you have potentials of immigrating but you need to do so 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 you need to write ialts and make sure that you have the highest band score you need to evaluate your credentials you need this you need that you need this you need or maybe they can also tell you oh you need an additional educational requirement you need they will tell you what is lacking in your profile and then you work towards getting those things and if you get those things and you want to retain their services to represent you for a full application then you have to pay retainers fee and sometimes the retainers fee can be as high as four thousand dollars five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars depending on the consultant or the lawyer you are working with and these monies they are not collected in full so they can you can break it down for you they'll say okay um we'll retain your services but you have to pay let's say 20 uh, percent or 30 percent of four thousand dollars i'm giving an example maybe they'll start with say pay one thousand dollars so that we can retain your services 
and look at your application look at your profile look at everything and then by the time you get an invitation to apply they can say okay pay another two thousand canadian dollars or us dollars depending on the currency they charge in and by the time your um, application is completely successful and they have requested for your passport to stamp it they cannot ask you to make the final payment so that is how they charge for retainer fee there please note that there is difference between consultation fee and retainer fee if you pay consultation fees just to consult with them to know your chances if you pay retainer fee it means they should provide the services of representation for you from the beginning of your application to the end of your application until you get the visa so that is what immigration consultants and immigration lawyers do i hope i have clarified um, everything you can do it yourself if you feel you're confident enough to do your applications yourself you can do it yourself all the information um, regarding doing it yourself is online the purpose of this is for people to not to have this idea that once you consult with an immigration consultant or an immigration lawyer you have 100 percent guarantee of getting a visa no i have repeated it over and over and over again in the course of this video that no immigration consultant or lawyer can guarantee that you will get a visa they cannot guarantee that they can advise you on the things you need to get ready to prepare yourself for an application and help you submit an application in accordance with regulations and rules provided there are so many rules surrounding immigration and um, that is why consultants actually get an education to get themselves informed about the profession itself and the purpose of this video is also for people not to fall victim to fraudsters like i always say do not fall victim to fraudsters to people promising you anything that is not um, feasible and this year please do not fall victim to anybody promising you anything whether the person is in canada or outside canada in fact, you should also be aware of people who are already living in Canada. Some of them are liaising with people outside of Canada to do people. Please, I don't want to hear sad stories this year. Yeah, it's it's really it really um, breaks my heart when I hear sad stories of people losing money. And I don't know, I don't know how people get to get involved in such things and lose money at the end of the day so this is the information i want to share and um i've talked too much i don't want to be talking too much this year thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video Bye bye